the entire U.S. administration below uh, the president was opposed to this. Um, uh, this is very similar to what happened in December 2018 when uh, Trump surprised uh, the then National Security Advisor Bolton, who was uh, listening in on the, uh, on the call with Erdogan, uh, Secretary Mattis uh, of the Defense Department, who actually resigned over this decision. Ultimately, uh, Trump reversed himself. Um, the question is whether he will actually uh, reverse himself again in view of the opposition uh, from Capitol Hill, led by some of his closest allies. Obviously, Trump believes that, uh, that, uh, uh, that there is something to be gained, and he justifies it in terms of withdrawing troops from uh, what he suggests is an open-ended uh, commitment that was made by uh, the previous president. Um, but, you know, re um, reversing uh, policy um, this quickly without a, a firm rationale as to what the gains would be for the U.S. government would only inflame the discussion about whether Trump is, uh, is a good steward of American foreign policy. If the U.S. does indeed uh, um, complete its withdrawal, as Trump suggests, this would be a major uh, boost to Russia's position in, uh, in, in Syria. Uh, also, Iranian position, which Trump has said that he wanted to, uh, to confront across the board in the, in the Middle East. Um, Russia's uh, 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 you know, prestige in the Middle East is obviously going to go higher. Um, and American allies, um, you know, who've been uh, looking to the U.S., not just the Syrian Kurdish forces, but uh, other countries, especially in the Gulf, would look at this withdrawal as a sign of uh, U.S. unwillingness uh, to stand up for its, for its rights and to, to maintain its alliances in the region. Well, I think he, uh, what uh, he should do is to slow down the process and, uh, and verify with the Turks um, exactly what it is that uh, they have in mind, because there are two parts to, uh, to the Turkish um, articulated plans. One is to actually uh, push the uh, Syrian Kurdish forces, the YPG, out of uh, that region. And secondly, to settle up to two million uh, Syrian refugees of the four million who are based in, in Turkey. Obviously, I mean, this is a major undertaking, and it clearly uh, involves the U.S. reviewing its own position as to what it should do with respect to, uh, to such massive geopolitical, geostrategic uh, changes.